Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you my everyday dewy makeup that is also acne safe. I don't know about you, but I, when I first started my acne journey, had no idea that my makeup might be actually causing some of my breakouts. And when I switched to all acne safe products, both for skincare and makeup, I saw a big decrease in the number of problems that I was having, my skin improved significantly. And so today, I'm gonna to be showing you my acne safe makeup routine. My routine is actually only eight products, so it is very simple. It's gonna give you a good base to start from, and then you can change and swap out products. I will say most of these products are from Sephora. Let me know in the comments if you want a more budget-friendly version. Even though they are Sephora products, I will say they are on the lower end of Sephora pricing, so that should help a little bit. But if you want a full budget-friendly tutorial, we can also go ahead and do that. So I just added everything to a Sephora cart, and as you can tell, the total is $184 for seven products. The only thing not included is this mascara, which I think is $13 or $14. You can maybe grab it on sale at Target. Um, it just depends. If you are interested in investing in an acne safe routine at Sephora, I would definitely try to wait for one of their sales or if you have some kind of like dollar off coupon, something like that to make it a little bit more budget friendly. Another acne safe tip that I wanna remind you of is to make sure that you are washing your makeup brushes. You can either wipe them down with just a makeup wipe every single day. You can wash them weekly with dish soap and hot water and just let them dry. It doesn't need to be anything too crazy. They also sell those little like machines, if you will, to help you wash your makeup brushes faster on Amazon. I don't think they're super expensive. I'll be sure to leave a link to one in the description box, but definitely make sure that if you are worried about breaking out from makeup or your makeup routine, that you are also cleaning your makeup brushes. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm starting out with the Tower 28 Tinted Sunscreen. This is just a regular tinted moisturizer. It's nothing too crazy. It is available at Sephora. So for the Tower 28, I feel like this gives me just a nice light base coverage. It's nothing too crazy. You still see the texture on my skin. I feel like with fuller coverage foundations, it ends up feeling really cakey on my skin because I do have some texture. And so that ends up looking not as good as I feel like it does with something lighter, like a tinted moisturizer or a skin tint. You can go for something that's a little bit more fuller coverage, like the House Labs foundation. Okay, so this is the House Labs foundation. It is ooh, very messy right now, but it is also acne safe and it is it has a lot of good skincare ingredients, but I do feel like this is heavier and it looks a little bit kickier on my skin, so I just prefer not to use this. But if I was going to something like an event and I wanted more full coverage, I would opt for something like this. I think there are workarounds that make it look less cakey, but I still feel like it really highlights the texture on my skin more than I wanted to. Next, I'm gonna go in with this concealer from Say. I have no idea if that's how you say their name, but for me it makes sense. Let me know in the comments if I'm totally off. For this, I'm just gonna blend it in with a beauty blender. You can use a damp one. I usually like to spray it with like a setting spray or today I'm actually gonna end up using this Tower 28 face spray. I love this if you have acne and very sensitive skin. I feel like this is one of my favorite products right now. It just really helps with calming and especially soothing redness and irritation in the skin. So if you have more inflammatory acne, this is gonna be this, gonna be a product that you love. For this, I'm just gently patting the concealer into my skin so that it blends well with the foundation. And then overall, I can kind of pat through to give it a more seamless finish. 
Next, I'm using the Say Dewy Blush. It has a doe foot applicator. It does give a pretty dewy finish. And then I just blend that out with a brush. I feel like using a brush actually gives a very good finish and it ensures that it keeps a lot of the pigmentation versus if I use my fingers. Next, I have the Say Dewy Gel. I've had this for a while, you can tell the packaging. She's gone through it, she's gone through it, but she is amazing. It's really good also under your makeup. Today I'm just using it more as a light highlighter. So it just gives overall a very nice light dewy finish. I feel like it is really pretty and it looks great if you put this under your makeup first. So you can also use this as a base before using some kind of tinted moisturizer, foundation, whatever. Um, but combined, I feel like they do look really pretty. It gives you that very like clean, fresh, dewy look. Um, but today I'm just going for this and then adding this on top. Next up is the Say Air Set Translucent Setting Powder. I feel like this helps kind of mattify the finish. And then I'm just gonna use a regular kabuki brush. All right, so this is the base of our look. The only other two things I'm gonna add is an eyebrow gel, lip gloss, Incorrect. We're also doing mascara. We're definitely not skipping mascara. Next up, I'm using the Kosas Airbrow. I feel like this does really well for the like feathery and like fluffy looking brows. What I'm really loving about this lately is that one, it has a very small applicator. So I feel like it's really precise when you're putting it on your brows as far as being able to shape them. And two, it's very light and it's not sticky. So my issue with like the e.l.f. Brow Lift, the ABH, it's a lot thicker consistency and I feel like it feels very sticky until it's dry and if it doesn't dry right, it just kind of stays feeling sticky on my face. Next, I'm gonna finish with the Telescopic Lift Mascara from L'Oreal. I'm using the color Blackest Black, and I feel like this is a great mascara. It does a really good job, and if you do have any issues with any of your mascaras, I definitely recommend a lash separator. It is truly life-changing. Like, never worry about your mascara clumping ever again, because some of the biggest issues with the best mascaras is that they can occasionally be clumpy.